to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben, and today we have the Macallan Oscuro here on our cask. Yeah, this is expensive. <laughs> Be careful. It's 750 euros, dollars, pounds, and probably where you live a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're, they're rare. This mm -hmm. is one of a, a very rare whiskey. And um, if you look at the package, the package was really, really <laughs> packed uh, in really tight. And this, I think this is massive wood. Yes. So wood. I think the, the package already costs 100. 200. 200. <laughs> Maybe 200. No, the package 100, yes. Uh -huh. And the bottle 100. Ah, okay. I would like to see the bottle. Here we go, there's a mirror in behind. So you can see the bottle from all sides. All sides. <laughs> you got it? Not really, yet. Uh. Here is the bottle. Oh, it's from the 1824 collection. Yes, there had been the 1824 collection uh, consisting out of the gold, the amber, the sienna and the ruby. And uh, this is the very, very top range above the ruby. The ruby had been at around 150 to 200. And this one is now the very, very top end. And this consists out of only uh, Oloroso sherry casks, which were bottled in this series. And uh, it's not 100% first fill, but the majority of casks is first fill. And you found out from the distributor this is 19? Uh, yeah, the distributor told us it's from 1987 and 1997. So 22 30. and 32 years old, yeah, 20, yeah. Mm -hmm. something like that. But they're not allowed to, to write it on the bottle uh, in that order, I think. But they usually would have been allowed to, to do an age statement, but they didn't. No. Don't know why. Uh, they do a very expensive mm -hmm. bottle. Telling us mm -hmm. this is for the collectors, expensive. yeah, it's not good. You have, don't have a, that. You don't have a number on the bottle. Usually, you have a vintage or an age statement or something like that. Um, but it doesn't. Uh, but this one is so rare, and the Oscuro series is just, I think, one bottling mm -hmm. that uh, even in the future, the people will remember. Okay, this is this bottling, and uh, yeah. yeah. And so there is no refill. There is a hologram at the side. So we cracked it already. We had a sip of that. Uh, so uh, that if you're carefully and look at this uh, hologram, that the bandrol and the hologram isn't scratched, uh, then uh, you can be sure that this is the original. Mm -hmm. They in, in introduced this hologram after the big uh, refilling scandal they had some 20 years ago, I think. Uh, well, they do have a number on the hologram, yes, though. Yes, but I think it's the number of the hologram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is metal. This is cast. Cast iron. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah. I don't think it's full, but it's uh, it's got a thick, thick surrounding, thick and, wall. And they have a, what's this called here? A band Color. Yeah, a uh, 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 nice brass shining color. And this is practical because color you, you, color. you can you can <laughs> twist it really easy because you have the torque. Uh -huh. And the design should uh, stands for the six pillars on which this whiskey is made. So I don't <laughs> really know three pillars. The fire, <laughs> the malt, and the water. Uh, and what are the others? Yeah. So there is a small. I think the casks. Uh, the small <laughs> leaflets here, which comes with the um, bottle, and in the, they tell here the story about the oscuro, and this is Spanish and means dark. So it was matured in uh, solely in Spanish oloroso sherry casks. Yes, mm -hmm. but and you not said only first fill. Not only first fill, but the majority first. Majority fill. of them first fill. Mm -hmm. And I've I've read something that they blended together in uh, 
a marriage cask or something yeah. for mm -hmm. six months or something, so everything mm -hmm. can get interwoven or, or mixed or blended very good. Mm -hmm. And in this small leaflet there is this spider diagram uh, developed by Bob Delgano uh, showing uh, citrus, dry fruit, vanilla, woody and spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is 64.5 unchill filtered. Mm -hmm. Of course, as always, at Macallan Uncolored. And I find this bottle such wonderful because you see all the color and the uh, label with all the legalese is in the back. Mm -hmm. Which does not disturb the view of the. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like a bit of a like a like a man in a suit. Uh huh. Like, like yeah, like a I don't know. Mm -hmm. Big shouldered man. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's it's lovely. It's intense. It's immediately intense in the nose. A lot of oranges, and chocolate and vanilla. Everything from the cask and uh, from the distillery character. The oranges should typically come from the distillery char character. And, but there's a lot of sherry in it with dried fruit in the back. Mm -hmm. Nice. I, I, I really <laughs> I, I, have, I have the same. It's, it's wonderfully round and it's a lot of dried fruit. And uh, the thing is, the, the, the oranges, um, they are not that juicy oranges. They're more like blood oranges or... Mm, bergamot. Bergamot, mm -hmm. okay. Those are those small... Oh, the small ones are, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's a bit, bit of an orange, chocolate, Christmassy thing going on. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And the, the oak is already showing through. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, it needs the 46.5 mm -hmm. ABV. Otherwise, the taste would be so intense and overwhelming everything else. So it needs the 46%, but it's not sharp, not at all. Showing some spiciness from the wood going over into chocolate, light, bitter aftertaste. Yeah, mm -hmm. and dried fruit, a lot of dried fruit. Mm. It's amazing. It's one of these whiskies that are really, really, really old, and if you really don't get that much of the alcohol, mm -hmm. if you'd have given me that just straight without telling me, I would have said something like 40%, but there's a lot of intensity within the flavor. That what you had on the nose, the orange, the chocolate, it's just really intense there. And the, the, the oak is, is really pleasant. It's lightly bitter in the end, but mm -hmm. there's almost no bitterness, a lot of roundness, a lot of nice oak flavor. And it covers your mouth, maybe. Uh, it's mouth watering. Mm -hmm. A lot of cladding inside my mouth. I wouldn't have another one, a different one afterwards. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just definitely <laughs> the last one of a day. Mm -hmm. And because it's so good, it should mm -hmm. be the first one of the day. <laughs> <laughs> the only one of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have a nice whiskey like that, I think you, you really want to concentrate yourself just on that whiskey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the, the ones that are so old. They, and the ones that are not too heavy on the sherry. Because it's, it's really nice on the sherry, but you don't have that fluffy feeling in your mouth. Yeah, but That's the sherry brilliant. comes with the oak. Mm -hmm. With the oak, so the sherry is not not too strong, but together with the oak. So you have the sherry, you have the oak, and you have the residual of the distillery character with the oranges. Mm -hmm. So it's very well-rounded and old, really old, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so not for every day, not for everybody. Yeah, <laughs> because it's, yeah, it is really expensive. We said it at the beginning, it's about <laughs> 300, uh, 750. 
But uh, it might be depend a on somewhere. where you buy it, you might find it for a thousand. 99.99. <laughs> <laughs> for, yeah, a thousand or 1,500. There will be people who sell it for much more. And I have to say, it probably will rise to about mm -hmm. tenfold, like 7,000 in 10 years. But oh, right. maybe it drops to 20. So then I will buy it. <laughs> new euros. New euros, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 20 new euros. <laughs> okay, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time.